I should give you my jacket. I'm okay. You keep it. It's cold. You had a car accident. I can't take your coat. Well, if you want it, just ask. <laughs> I'll holler. Uh, I hope Cheryl isn't out in this weather. I'm sure she's waiting for you at home, Harry. She can be so sure. When's the snow supposed to stop? Hmm. If I'd seen the forecast, I wouldn't be here. I'd be watching TV from under my comfort. Mmm, a big bowl of champarado. <laughs> a plate of churros? You know churros? I make the best you'll ever taste. I'll take your word for it. Massachusetts? Yeah. Well, not Massachusetts so much, but I want to be with John. And John? He wants it too. It's, it's just hard. We've been together for five years, but we never lived together. Now we're out in the world, living our lives. John's a lucky guy. Yeah. He's probably just lousy at showing it. I know lawyers. I'm not so touchy-feely. Oh, John's not like that. Back in school, he was very passionate. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder. You believe that? Absolutely. Can I see some ID? Over 21s only. Sorry, mine was taken by a cop. <laughs> really? How come? I'm not sure she trusts me. Well, I'll let you in just this once, but first sign of trouble. The Balkan. Last time I was in a nightclub was for my... I need to answer this. The keys are in my room upstairs. Run up and grab them. John? Where have you been? I guess I can let you off the hook then. But you're gonna have to make it up to me. Uh-huh. into my things. Oh, that was Harry. He's a friend. Here.
I got the keys. I just need to finish my drink. Take a seat. I need something to warm me up in this weather. Things go okay with John? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna come meet me here once I've dropped you off. This weather, such a pain. Oh, I should have offered you a drink. No, no, it's fine. I'm confused enough as it is. I just want to get going, put today behind me. Hey, everything's gonna be fine, you know? We'll be there soon, and, and then you can see your wife and daughter and... Wife? You're married, aren't you? You're wearing a ring. Are you okay? No, I'm a bit lightheaded. I gotta go clear my head. Michelle? Who the hell is Michelle? Just practicing my signature. We ready to go? Where's Michelle? Funny. Come on, let's get going. I'm going to drive. You, Mr. Harry, are way over the limit. Stop. This is out of control. I came in here with a girl called Michelle. She was going to drive me to Simmons Street. Who are you? Are you on something? I'm Dahlia. Hottest piece of ass you'll ever see in this town. You are Harry Mason. Generally, a fun guy to be with. What are you wearing these for? Stop being a dick and let's get going. We'll get to Simmons Street and see Cheryl. Cheryl? Your daughter? Oh, come on, you're not that wasted. That's why we're in this lousy club. To get the SUV so we can drive up to Simmons Street. That's right, but... It's just... no more craziness. You're freaking me out. Are we the only people on the road? Because that means we don't have to stop for any red lights. One way. Screw that. Let's cut up on Kincaid. You're very quiet there, Harry. You're not gonna be sick, are you? I think I'm losing my mind. What? How long have you known me? I don't know. A few years? I don't know you. I can't remember you. Since the car crash, nothing is making sense. <sighs> don't do this to me, Harry. Don't start tripping out on me. When you said you crashed your car, you didn't mention this. Damn, are you in pain? No pain. And I can remember most things, just sometimes. Some details, I, I try to focus, but then they slip away. And I think I'm seeing things. You really don't know who I am? No. Sid and Nancy? Oh, who are Sid and Nancy? My tits? You named them? We're sleeping together? This is a joke, right? A really lame joke. I wish it was. Is up. What can we do? Run up to the control room. See if you can get it moving. <sighs> okay. Look, don't flip out on me. No forgetting what you're doing and wandering off. Hey, I got it. I'll be waiting. Jesus.
Jimmy here. Who's this? Mr. Capra? My name is Harry Mason. I need to lower the bridge. Uh, hey, hey, well, wait, will you? You know what time it is? Probably woke my kids. I'm sorry, but this is an emergency. I've been in a car accident. My daughter needs my help. I... I just... Okay, okay. You want to know how to operate the bridge controls? Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, Mr. Mason, listen carefully. You need to stop by pushing the... Hello? Then... He's sleeping up there? Let's get moving. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Mason, I guess we got cut off and I can't seem to get through on your phone. Listen, to lower the bridge, here's what you do. Uh, first you push the start button, a colored light will come on. If it's blue, move the center lever. Now if it's red, move the left lever. If it's green, don't do anything, just wait. Uh, and if the yellow light comes on, move the right lever. You just gotta keep doing this until the bridge engages, okay? Best of luck, Mr. Mason. Yeah, Mr. Mason, I guess we got cut off and I can't seem to get through on your phone. Listen, to lower the bridge, here's what you do. Uh, first you push the start button, a colored light will come on. If it's blue, move the center lever. Now if it's red... daughter too? Why is this not freaking you out, me not knowing you? This isn't the first time you've acted weird, Harry. What does that mean? Be straight with me. Stop it. If you know my daughter... I know of her. Let's not go there. So what are you to me? Why do you have to be like this? Just leave things be, Harry. Stop. Harry? Dahlia! Thank <laughs> you. 
Nasty, but inevitable. Everyone is going to die, even if we like to pretend otherwise. You could die tonight, in your sleep. Why doesn't that terrify you? How would you like to die? No, wait, let me guess. You'd want to die surrounded by family. It's academic, really, as we're only truly conscious of death when it happens to others. Get to my age, you'll have seen plenty of people die. There, one minute, then gone. Okay, game time. There are seven pictures of people on the table. Your job is to tell me who is dead and who is merely sleeping. Divide them up. Left, dead. Right, sleeping. Done? It's just an exercise. There's no right answer. Actually, they were all dead. Okay, let's get back to it. Who's Dahlia? A girl. The car went into the river. She drowned. Another crash? This is a different girl? You must have seen the bridge. We went right off the side. 
Harry, the bridge has been closed since the storm started. You swam. You could have died of hypothermia. My clothes? You were soaked to the skin. I grabbed what I could find here. <sighs> we need to talk. When I was at the station, I pulled the file on Harry Mason. She'll be fine. She's young. It'll heal easy. She's fine. She liked the bear and the chocolates. Huh? It's hardly spoiling her. And the song. And the song, sweetie. I got the DJ to play her a song on the radio. Yeah, well, I'll be here for another half hour till visiting time is up. for calling Alcamilla Radio. Your request has been selected for broadcast. Get well soon.
Alcamilla Radio. It's kind of quiet tonight. If you want to hear a tune, just call 555-881. And for the final digit, use the number of the tune you want from our top ten yeah, list. Yeah, they say she'll be fine. Alcamilla. She's young. It'll heal easy. Music. She's fine. She liked the bear and the chocolates. Huh? It's kind of quiet. It's hardly spoiling her. And the song. Then the song, sweetie. And I got the DJ to play her a song on the radio. Yeah, well, I'll be here for another half hour till visiting time is up. Yeah, they say she'll be fine. She's young. It'll heal easy. She's fine. She liked the bear and the chocolates. Huh? It's hardly spoiling her. And the song. Then the song, sweetie. And I got the DJ to play her a song on the radio. Calling Alcamilla Radio. Your request has been selected for broadcast. Get well soon. Use the number of the tune you want from our top ten list. Keep listening. Alcamilla. Healing through music. As requested, here's a popular tune. Daddy's Girl. She's gonna be okay. Thank God. He's spoiling her rotten, you know. She's gonna get fat, sitting in bed all day eating chocolates. He's trying to make me feel bad. 